What if I showed you in this video that there is a way to use MetaTrader 5 exactly how you've always wanted, zooming in with the mouse wheel forward and zooming out backward, scrolling the chart back and forth, and very simply jumping to other time frames in the middle of the screen without sliding back a thousand years into the past. Here's the five minute, let's go to the one minute. Let's go to the daily, let's go to the 15 minute, roll out, roll over. And now I'll show you how it works. Anyone who has ever worked with MetaTrader 5 knows it. You use the mouse wheel, you scroll around, you press the control key, and you can zoom, but you zoom out forward and you zoom in backward, which is actually contrary to all other programs. The other problem that many of you will surely know is, if I simply want to look at this hourly chart in a five minute chart, it completely disappears. That means if I now go back to the hourly chart, it can often happen that this time has completely jumped again. I'm here on 01 20 2015 and end up on 01 9 2025, which is somehow not comfortable at all for me to search for my chart back to this point. Even when zooming, the chart shifts so far to the right or left that I sometimes no longer know where I actually am. And when I go to the minute, I'm completely lost in this area anyway. So how can we fix all of this? I will show you step by step in this video. First of all, we need to understand that the fixed chart position is simply not visible. To make it visible, we will remove the grid and set a noticeable color for the grid color either green or pink. I've chosen pink here. After that, we definitely need to deactivate the auto scroll button. When we activate the button, we can already see the first triangle up here. With the triangle, we can position the chart at the end, just the way we like it. The other triangle is absolutely not visible here in the corner, and it will only be displayed when you hover over this corner with the mouse. Click, and Drag uh, out. Once you have set this triangle, you can now always go to the middle of the chart without any problems. Pull in. However, we still can't make a day change. Our chart just jumps here. Somewhere. I don't even know exactly where it went back here. Of course, we don't want that and how we solve all of this. I'll show you now with my fix all package. Once you have downloaded the package, you will find a total of four files in it. If you want to always have this peak fixed in every chart, then install the scale fix file. Double click. Already exists. Right. Scale fix will be activated here. And uh, press OK. Now these two fixed chart position arrows are always fixed at this spot. And you can always, when you are in the middle of the chart, roll exactly into the center as you wish. If you want to have the fixed chart position further back or forward at the end, for example, let's say like this, you can do that. You simply go into scale fix via indicators and set this value here to 40%. And we already have. Pushed it so far over that we cut off 40% of the screen on the right side. You can of course do the same with this position. As long as the indicator is active, it will always center itself in the middle. So if you don't want that, you simply need to remove the indicator from your sheet and you can manually place the button where you want to scroll to and then you'll get exactly all there. Where this arrow is located, to fix the issue with the time frame, I wrote a small expert advisor. You can find it here under Zoom Fix. Just double click. Of course, I already have it and simply drag the fix onto the chart and press OK. Now let's mark to show it a date. Which date should it be? It can be this red candle here. Or let's take this red candle here. So let's pull the whole thing into the middle. That's still important. The more precisely the whole thing works, and we change it every 15 minutes. Chart. Our red line is still exactly where we had it. In the center, let's switch to the 5-minute chart. Chart. Now switch to the 1-minute chart. Chart. 
back to the daily chart to an hourly chart and always find the consistent date at the bottom here. And finally, it would be important to save these changes so that we can always recall these changes at any time. Therefore, right click on the templates, save templates. Either save this template in one of your templates or in all of your templates, or you can go ahead and save this template as the default. If you do that, every new chart you load will always use the default. Template loaded. And you will always have these settings readily available on every new chart. And you won't have to worry about the settings anymore. And finally, in this package that I have made for you to fix everything, you also get a mouse, reverse and auto control holder. What's really awesome is you just need to take this part here. You can either activate the half screen or you activate the full screen. I'll quickly show you what both do. For full screen, just double click. And then the script is already displayed at the bottom right. If you don't need it anymore, you can, of course, also end or pause it. What happens is I can now roll forward with my mouse as usual, and this is possible throughout the entire chart. I can roll backward and I can move my chart back and forth as usual. What no longer works in this mode is that I can roll back and forth in my chart. But what I can do is I can use my mouse wheel normally down here, for example. And I can also use shortcuts as usual. For example, here in the hourly view, control Y to display individual days or Ketral I to use the integrators. Everything works relatively normally. As mentioned, you can no longer roll back and forth in the chart but you would now have to drag it back and forth in principle. However, there is of course another way, which unfortunately doesn't always work 100,000%. You can also end this script and activate the Hive script zoom instead. It activates directly down here. And what that means is you can now zoom on the right side of the screen approximately in this area. And in this area, you can scroll. The problem why I say it doesn't always work perfectly is that due to the calculations of MetaTrader 5, these areas unfortunately always shift a bit internally. Let's try it here. Now there's still scrolling here. There's also still scrolling here. And now it's slowly coming, zooming. That means here we have, so to speak, an invisibly divided screen. But this line sometimes shifts from this area to the middle area or even to this area. So if you absolutely want to work like this, I would recommend getting used to not staying in the middle area right from the start, even if it's currently divided exactly in the middle. Instead, always go all the way to the right to zoom here in the outer edge area and go to the left edge area to scroll. Now here's a little tip from me. If you always want to run one of these scripts so that you always have it, then press once. Windows are type shell colon, startup, click, OK. Take the script of your choice and simply drag it into this folder. Bam. And then this script will automatically run at startup every time. I hope I was able to help many people with this. And I hope you like it and it gives you a better workflow. You can find the link to the package in the video description below. I hope I was able to help some people with this. In this spirit, let's trade and have fun, make money. Yours, Mark. Bye. See you then.